Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Locked Out of Heaven, Bruno Mars, on the ook. Okay, let me, uh, let me try that intro. Okay, that's about half the song right there. Okay, so what we got is we're going to hit a C chord. I'm going to hit it once. C chord is the first string, third fret. That's it. Then we're going to go to a D minor, second string, uh, first fret, fourth string, and third string at the second fret. That's a D minor chord. Let's see, you're going to need a B flat chord. Might as well give you the chords right now. Uh, first two strings, first fret, you bar them. Third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. That's your B flat chord. Uh, and then you're going to need a G minor, first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret. Okay? So for the intro, those are all your chords. You're going to need a couple more chords later on in the song, but we'll get to those. So we hit the C once, the D minor once, and you stop the sound each time. So then you go back to the C, hit it once, then the B flat chord. Hit it once, stop the sound, hit it a second time, uh, and then you go to the G minor, and you're going to go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, and you repeat that whole thing, so it sounds like this. That's once through. Alright, I'll wait while you practice it. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so you do that twice, that's your intro. Uh, later on, it's also your interlude, okay? Now, when you get to the verse, it's the same thing, except they do it five times in a row. So, I'm not playing it five times, <laughs> okay? Then we get to the pre-chorus. Now we need a couple new chords. We need an F chord, uh, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. That's my F chord. We're also going to change our strum, okay? Uh, later on, we're going to need an A chord, so 4th uh, string, 2nd fret again, so you actually can leave that finger right down and just move your 1st finger to the 3rd string 1st fret. It's an A chord, that's so simple. So this pre-chorus, I forget what the words are, but it's, um, you do the verse 5 times and then you're going to hear the change, and it's an F chord, you could just do like down, up, 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 down, and then an A, same thing. That's it. So it's F for two measures, A for two measures, and so what's that? Uh, two, four, six, eight, sixteen. So it's like uh, I don't know how you want to count it, but I just feel it. You know, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's like eighth notes. So I just I count, I count four beats for a measure. One, two, three, four, and then a second measure, and then the A chord, same thing. And then I go right into the chorus as a B flat to a G minor to an F to a C that repeats B flat to a G minor to an F to a C and then go back to that. Okay. So, uh, let's see, the pre-chorus was F to A, F is like 16, well, you know, like, I don't know how you want to count it, but um, it's like eighth notes for two measures, and then the A for two measures, same thing. Then when you get to the chorus, uh, sometimes I feel like, sometimes I feel like, I'm locked out of heaven, that part, blah, blah, okay? So that's a B flat twice, G minor twice, F twice, C twice and then you repeat that. Okay, now you go back to the interlude, which you already know, uh, which is the uh, same as the intro. Alright, verse 2 is a little bit different, okay? It's not quite the same. Uh, it's not a big deal, but in verse 2 what he does is he hits the C to the D minor, then he uh, stops the sound, and then he's still singing, but there's no chords. So he's out for the rest of that progression, but then he comes back. And 
and he repeats that progression four times. So in the first verse, he did it five times. The second verse, he does the first two chords, then he's out while he's singing, he's not playing, and then he comes back with the progression four times in a row. So hopefully, when you listen to the song, you'll hear that, uh, and that's um, clear enough. So then you go back and you do the pre-chorus, which is the F to the A. And then you're kind of home free because now you got you got the uh, chorus comes back with the, you know, the B flat to the G minor. And you really ride this out for a lot of the song. And then the C. And then you just repeat that over and over again. Um, you could think of it like there's a chorus, a bridge, and a chorus, or just three choruses. It doesn't matter. There's different words and stuff, but it's the B flat, G minor, F, C, two measures each, and it just keeps repeating. And you repeat that. Um, it's almost like three choruses in a row. You could think of it that way. And then, uh, then you're going to hear the outro. He goes back to the... One more time. And that's how they end it. So the outro is the intro, exactly the way the intro is, but at the end you hit the C to the D minor, and then they stop the sound, or the song. <laughs> okay, so the form is like an intro, a verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, an interlude, verse 2, which is a little different, then the pre-chorus again, and then you could either think chorus, 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 outro, or chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. Doesn't matter, because the choruses are the same as the bridge, so. All right, hopefully that's not too, uh, you know, confusing. I know it is, but, you know, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You could play along with this one, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Play more Ook. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.